gloomy out there. We take a live look downtown and that second round of rain is on its way here. Dave, this just does not look good as we start to take a closer look at the radar and what we've been seeing kind of periodically throughout the day. It yeah. does look messy. Yeah, it is and it has been. We've had one warning so far. The watch continues to 8 o'clock and it's kind of interesting to watch the back side of this, which you see on the left hand side of your radar there. As that moves east, the counties that were in watches back farther to our west have been dropped immediately. So this is the end of it out here by Jackson. Now it's in Fowlerville. It's in Flint. It's back down by Jackson and then it's farther to the south. So as this moves through, it's the cold front. Uh, obviously the temperatures will drop back behind this and but the threat goes away until that happens in your area. The threat is going to last for a while yet. The first batch has moved off. We had one warning with that and we're pretty clear right now. The sun is out, but the more sunshine you get, the worse this line will be or potentially could be and we're seeing some growth and development now in certain spots. So I'm going to put it in motion now and uh, Hallie, if you could not, never mind. Uh, would you go back and hit restart on that for me and we'll start all over here and just to get the motion going here uh, again. I want to show you how this is moving now. Thank you very much. Uh, so the yellow area is the watch and this is going to progress from west to east as we go along here. And let's see here. one more time. We'll zoom in and show you what's happening. So this storm, there's Roland. Uh, I'll give you an idea where we are. There's Adrian. OK, so we're in Lenawee County right here back to Columbia, which is the southern part of Jackson County. This storm is very intense. Uh, the growth rate in terms of its vertical growth is very high. The lightning rate is very high. What we call the glaciation rate. If you want to get all techy and geeky about it is how the top is freezing. That's important in terms of mature storm uh, and there's also some uh, shear in this. So this is a formidable storm to watch. It's developing. There's not a warning with it yet, but if the one goes, it'll be this one pretty soon. There's Franklin. There's Adrian at about uh, 628 or so. And then there's Milan Petersburg a little bit farther down the road. It's moving east now at 45 miles an hour. So the warm front is still stuck in the middle of the area. That's why there's still a concern about the possibility of tornadoes. We're not going to have a lot of that activity, but it's still not out of the question. And again, as the cold front pushes in and through here, things are going to change very, very rapidly. That happens like this. All right, here we are now. There's six o'clock or seven o'clock and there's eight o'clock. So moving west to east through the area here, make sure that you're aware of what's going on as that line moves through because it's going to be an issue for us uh, watching very, very closely. All right, real quick here, uh, we'll show you. Holly, can you hit the hot button for me there and get me to the forecast? There we go. Thank you. She's so good. 55 tomorrow, 56 on Friday and Saturday, a little warmer on Sunday. Again, eight o'clock, we're all clear. Things are getting better, but it will take until then to call off the guard.